Hey, what is up guys? This is Cash Freak Tim from CashFreak.com and today we are talking about how to get your geocaching.com stats onto your geocaching.com profile page. And we're going to do that by using our good friend GSAC. So let's get into how to get this done. Now the first thing you're going to need to do is head on over to the Pocket Query page and yes you do have to be a premium member to do this little trick going to head on over to the pocket query page and what we need to do is create a pocket query for all of the caches we have already found. Now luckily there's already a pre-created query to do this and if you scroll all the way down to the list of your queries you're going to see my finds and you will probably have this add to queue button lit up. Uh, right now it's not lit up for me because it only lets you run this query once every three days. So you're going to want to head, you're going to want to click add to queue, wait your customary 5, 10, 20 minutes, whatever it takes, and you will have a pocket query created for all the geocaches you have already found. And when it's ready to go, you can go up here to the pocket queries ready for download link. We're going to click it, and you'll see there is my pocket query, my finds pocket query. We're going to click it to download it to our computer. Once you have that query downloaded to your machine, you can go ahead and open it up. And you can take that GPX file and you can move it right into GSAC. Now to make this simple, in GSAC you may want to delete all of your current waypoints that are listed in there first. You can do that under the database menu. I showed you how to do that in one of the past tutorials. It'll make this just a little bit easier. So you're going to take your GPX file of your finds, drop it into GSAC. Once all of your finds are imported, next thing you are going to do is we're going to head on over to the GSAC forums, and you can get to that at gsac.net slash board. And once you're there, you're going to scroll down till you see this menu right here, Find Stats Generator. We're going to go ahead and click on that. And then we're going to go click on All Purpose Statistics Generator. Now what this is, this is just a GSAC macro that takes all of your finds and creates a really cool looking statistics web page for you that you can then take and put in your profile. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to download the latest version and go ahead and click the link here and it will take you to a second page which you can scroll to the bottom of and at the bottom you're going to get the link to the actual macro so go ahead and download that .gsk file once that macro is downloaded on your machine you can go ahead and open it in GSAC it's going to ask if you want to install the macro we're going to click yes and go once the macro is installed in GSAC you can go ahead and select it again it's called Fidestat Gen and we're going to click run the macro will go ahead and run now depending on how many caches you have this might take a few minutes so let the macro do what it needs to do and we will move on to the next step now once the macro gets to this screen you can go ahead and click options and this will bring up the list of options for the macro. You know, I'm going to leave everything for the most part the default in here. The only thing I'm going to put in here is my geocaching.com name, Cache Freak Tim. Everything else I'm going to leave as default and run the macro. But if you want, you can come back in here. And this will customize the way that the macro creates the web page here in a second. So you can come in here and play around with some of these options. But for me, I'm just going to leave them on default. After the macro is complete, it will automatically bring up the profile page it created for you. So this is the one it created for me. I think it looks pretty cool. It's got all kinds of information on it. It'll show you all the, your different hides. It, it'll show you how you found the caches per month. It's going to show you milestones. It's going to show you caches, the types you found, 
miles from your house it shows you all kinds of different information you know I think this is really cool it shows you you know the exact states and if you've cashed in other countries it shows you the countries you've cashed in so it generates this really cool looking profile page for you that shows all of your information about the finds that you found so it creates this page which you can just take a look at if you want to but also what it does is if you open up notepad and if you just right click go to paste it's gonna paste all of that HTML code right into a notepad file so now you have that web page and you can take that HTML code and do whatever you want with it you know you could just save it to your desktop if you want to bring up from time to time or what a lot of people end up doing is taking it and putting it on their geocaching.com profile page and I'm going to show you how to do that so you can head on over to your profile page and this is mine right here you can see right now I don't really have any information in it. and I have a link to my website and that's about it so to put that information on my page what I'm going to do I'm going to click on edit your profile and I'm gonna put a little bit of space here at the top and I'm gonna do the exact same thing that I did in a notepad I'm just gonna right click and I'm gonna go to paste because it already basically copied all of that HTML code to our clipboard so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paste there it is automatically puts it in our profile for us so I'm gonna scroll down a little bit I'm gonna go to save changes going to go ahead and head on over to my profile view public profile right here and there it is there's all of that information saved to my profile page so now if anybody looks me up on geocaching.com they're going to see all this information pretty cool right so I really like this I think it's a really handy tip and it's really simple to do all you need is a few minutes in the GSAC application and copy paste and it's literally that simple to get all of your information on to geocaching.com onto your profile page so I hope you guys like this tip uh, if there's anything else you want to see GSAC related or not just let me know leave a comment in the comment section or head over to my website cashfreak.com and until the next video I will talk to you guys later